Welcome back. On Tuesday, we will begin our high school football spring previews. We're going out to all manner of teams and finding out the very latest as they prepare for the 2019 season. Our sports editor, Justin Barney, going to do a lot of legwork there. Justin, we did want to spend a little time previewing what we're going to be looking at over the coming weeks, including a bunch of teams that are finding themselves in new classifications. Yeah, three of these I want to kind of single out. Trinity Christian has been a dominant team in Class 3A for many, many years. Went up to Class 5A the last couple seasons. Did not work out there. They're back in 3A this year. Big change for Trinity Christian. Reigns, two-time defending state champion in Class 4A. They're going to try to do it at moving up to 5A. And uh, Bowles, 11-time uh, state champion at the high school football level in Florida. State record. They're going from 5A to 4A, so the biggest change for those three teams there. All state championship contenders all in a new classification this year. Well, you mentioned Bowles, and this is a team that has a new coach in Matt Toblin, but the impact of him taking that job is not just that they have a different feel and look at Bowles. He comes from Ponte Vedra, so Ponte Vedra is going to have a new coach, and he brings Josh Hoekstra with him from Clay, so Clay's going to have a new coach, and there's some other assistants who have moved around. That's a real impact move coming up for 2019. You talk about Matt Toblin, you know, throw out the fact that he's replacing two legends in Corky Rogers and Wayne Belger. The fact that he's, he's taken in, in building his staff. He's got Josh Hoekstra. Those two worked together at Clay a few years ago. Josh Hoekstra took over from Matt Toblin at Clay when Matt left to join the college ranks. So very good coach in Josh Hoekstra. He's joining that staff. Clay now looking for a head coach. And he's got some assistance coming over from Oakleaf. He's kept some assistance from Bowles. So the Matt Toblin hire at Bowles has impacted not only Bowles, but some other teams in the area. Well, of course, the two teams that uh, can do something that nobody else in the area can do, and that is repeat as state titles, uh, with state titles, Reigns and Mandarin. Let's talk about it. Those two teams, those two coaches have an awful lot to try to live up to. Yeah, you start first with Bobby Ramsey. You know, his, his history was well documented. Derrick Henry's high school football coach at Uli. He goes to Mandarin in his second year, wins the Class 8A state championship. Just almost an unfathomable thing thing for a Duval County Public School to do. He's got Mr. Football Carson Beck back at quarterback this year. That's a good thing, but they lose a lot of graduates on that side of the ball. And plus, they go into it basically an all-area local district now with the likes of Sandalwood, Bartram Trail, Oakleaf, Nice. So you're going to see a lot of changes, you know, not only from Andrew on the field, what they're trying to do, but who they're playing to, to, to get to those playoffs. All right, I'm going to put you on the spot in just about 15 seconds here. How many teams from our area will play for a state title? Who will get to the finals? We talked about this earlier. I'm going to go with two, Trinity Christian in 3A and Reigns, even though they're moving up to 5A. I think the Vikings are back in there. All right, we'll have more coverage of high school football coming up starting Tuesday here and on newsforjacks.com.